that this is this is really important. I've been selling for three years. Okay, I'm gonna hit him. Let's roll. All right, now listen to me. Who's your client? They're your client. So I want you to look at them. I want you to shut them down. So I'm gonna tell you no when you're gonna close them. Does that make sense? Or he's gonna win. This is a battle tested event. Ready? Cool, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for showing me all the numbers right at the kitchen table. Appreciate you, buddy. But look, I need to talk to my CPA. I'm going to get back with you. 100%. Any good CPA would just recommend that you guys get this locked down on this side of the deadline. And 25 years from now, you get an extra 100000 in your bank account. I don't see any good CPA disagreeing with that. So we'll just get it locked down on this side of the deadline. And we'll have you all set up. Okay. Hey, listen, I'm gonna, hey, well, I really appreciate you. Look, let me just reach out to you. Give me at least 24 hours and I'll get back with you. 100%. And that's really what I'm here for today is just to make sure we're not causing too many obstacles between you and the CPA. What do you think their main concern would be? I don't know. I haven't talked to them. 100%. And that's where, really, they're not going to disagree with you guys getting $100,000 extra over the next 25 years. We're just going to be locking this in. The money's going out of your account either way. You're just going to be getting an asset over a liability. <clears throat> Okay, good job. I'm going yeah. to you. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, I want you to bury this. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I need to talk to my CPA. I appreciate that. I wouldn't do anything different. At the end of the day, do you really feel that a good CPA wouldn't want 50 to 100K extra in your bank account? And after that, being able to take that, put in your home value, my, my suggestion is this. Why not talk to him after you've done it? And at the end of the day, if he tells you not to do it, I'm not going to cry, but you're going to be missing out. So let's just take care of it now. Okay. All right. So everybody just listen up. Everybody understand this, okay? Do me a favor for just a second. Put yourself at the front door. By the way, we have a front door. We're going to bring it out here in a second. <laughs> yes, yes, we've got a front door. We'll be bringing it out here. Right? We've got a front door. We're going to bring it out right now. But this front door, yeah. This, this front door, I want you to understand something. You walk through it. And somebody walks through it. They're sitting at your kitchen table, right? Like, put yourself in their shoes. Okay? Would you be good with this? All I want you to think is, would you be good with this? Because if you want to be the best, you have to have something that makes common sense, like how we need to move forward, but also the way that you articulate your words, the way that you speak, the way you talk, it makes them want to do business with you right now. Am I right? Yeah. If somebody says no, it's because they have a concern and they're unsure. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. When people don't have certainty, who needs to bring the certainty to the table? Yeah. Really? Okay. There's two ways to close. I'm going to explain how I do it. I overcome, put it to bed, and then close the deal. Why? What's the point of closing this and then, try and then canceling tomorrow, right? Right? So here's the goal. Do you want to close them down? Do you want to shut them down? Do you want them to stay closed, be sold, and stay sold? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Overcome the objection. Put it to bed. You guys want to be worth a lot of money? Bring value. Remember what I said? Closing is common sense. One of the best things that I love about Brad is Brad taught me, Andy, you can have all the word tracks you want. You can be cute with your words, but you got to close with common sense. Because common sense is what people resonate with, right? Yep. Okay, so here's our goal. Listen to me. You did a good job. You did a good job. Now, I want everybody to write this down. Good, great, unstoppable. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to explain to you how to be great, and we're going to start going through more objections. Number one, if you want to be great, you need, everybody's got this. I need to talk to my CPA right here, okay? You've got this right here. I want you to think about something. When you say something, do you say it the same way every time? Because you don't have to think about what to say. You're a machine. Yeah. You're machine-like. Machine-like. You know what machine-like is? That means this. When my back's against the wall, I don't think I will say. I know what I'm going to say. Dude, I've been in this spot a thousand times. As a matter of fact, last night when I looked in the mirror, I said this 30 times myself. Can I explain to you what's practiced in the dark and what's done when the stands are empty is who you'll fucking become? Do you get that? Do you understand? Practicing on your customers is the stupidest thing you'll ever do in your life. 
Now listen to me. If you want to be unstoppable, you're going to have to do one thing. You need to look in the mirror and you can say, hey, I need to talk to my CPA. Handle it. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Oh yeah, I know. Your buddies are watching TV. Your buddies. Okay? You're saying it again and 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 then you got a headache. So you take some ibuprofen and you say it another thousand times. And then follow me. And then when I'm sitting down at the kitchen table and I'm talking to him, he's like, hey, man, I got to talk to my CPA. You're like, hey, man, I totally understand. And at that point, you don't have to think about what to say. You can reach over and put your hand on them, and you can focus on them because you don't have to think. And when's the last time whenever you were dealing with somebody that you saw them trying to think about what to say when you said no? Don't do that. This is why we train. Most people don't like training. Training isn't fun. I'm going to tell you this. When I learn something, I become dangerous. But there's times that I get sick of it too. But you know what I'm sick of? Not selling. I'm more sick of not selling than I am training. So what do you want to be more sick of? I cannot not grow. So I have to train. And by the way, you think you're good? There's a motherfucker out there that will make you look like an idiot. There's a guy out there, or a woman, that when you meet them, they've got more energy than you. They've got more belief in you. They play with their heart. And truly, they fight for their clients. See, you guys may see you're fighting with your client, but me, I'm fighting for my client. You see, I just want him to make sure when he keeps saying this side of the deadline, he understands what that means. Would you set on this side of the deadline? What does that even mean? Does that make sense? Deadline for what? Do people either do things for what for gain or fear of loss? Am I right? Right. Okay. What do you gain if you get solar? Let's cover it. What would you lose out on if you didn't do it now and it wasn't available for you tomorrow and you wanted it? Do you, am I right? Right. Yeah. That's all you're doing. Work for gain, fear of loss. You choose. But you have to find the words to articulate it. So, I'm going to give you an example. Um, Jacob, let's use this little young buck right here. First of all, this guy is 22 years old. Don't yell at him and make your ass do push ups. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? This is how I would handle it. This is me personally. 
I want to calm and close them all the way down. But I said, Jacob, if you have to say um or think about what to say at the time when you need to say it, they're going to look at you and they're not going to believe. Clearly they're saying no because they have uncertainty. So I need you to understand these words and be certain. Okay? So let's see if you would hire this kid. Is that cool? Yep. Cool. So, hey, Jacob, I appreciate you. Thanks for giving me all the information, but I need to talk to my CPA. Hey, I totally understand. I can't see your CPA getting upset with you getting a 30% tax credit. Would you? Any good CPA would agree that anything that increases your property value, lowers your monthly bill, and allows you to be $100,000 richer at the time of retirement wouldn't not agree with this. Basically, the government just did its job for him. So since we already know what your CPA is going to say, let's get this wrapped up on this side of the deadline. Also, in Arizona, we have a three-day stay guarantee, so that way you can talk to your grandma, your CPA, or pray about it just in case you decide to change your mind in the next three days. I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.